welcome back to the channel. I want us to continue modeling in Creo Parametric and today I want us to use surface modeling to model this part. Uh, we're going to use uh, the projected curve and some uh, boundary blend. I have new parts here, uh, new part. I'll ensure the units of the part is in millimeters. You can go here. You can see now I'm using um inch. You can change and use use a uh, millimeters here. Set. You can select either. For me, like using the first one, one inch becomes twenty five point four millimeters. Okay. First is I'm going to switch back and forth between these two parts so that you understand. Um, I'm going to model to sweep, uh, to revolve this section here, and then copy it to get this. But you see, let me do a quick section here. If I section onto this, uh, to this uh, surface, this uh, surface, you can see that we have uniform. At this one here we have uniform thickness but here we don't have can see we have extra materials here therefore we are going to model the uh the this section without let me highlight this surface this surface and this surface then we are going to add them later therefore basically we are going to go to the this plane here and we need to revolve. Let me no more. I need not to select a line like that. Let's dimension this line to be 10 and this to be 5 and this to be 18. Yeah, you can use uh, either dimensions. Uh, but for me, I use these dimensions to graph that part. Then you need a center line like that. Let me see. Okay. Um, okay. Surface. Yeah, you can see we have uh, a revolve surface. It will select the axis automatically here, internal. Then for the angle, I want to use 180 like that on one side if if you realize that the revolve is on this side you just switch here like that okay this is my first uh revolve i want to have let me hide this uh place then i want to copy this revolved surface if you select this revolve ctrl c don't paste, you can see here we have a copy and paste. If you select this drop down, we have paste special. I want to paste in the special then because I want to add uh, some manipulation. If you select a uh, paste special dependent copy, I'm going to use a partially dependent dimensions and AA details only. Okay, I want to use this apply move. And rotate transformation to copies. I want to apply some move. If you say okay, we have some move. Instead of move, I want to use rotate. I want to rotate this part 90. And then let me activate here. Let me show this. Let me hide our planes. Okay. I want to rotate it uh, along the axis like that. You can see by 90 if i say okay you can see it rotates by 90 then i want this part this surface to rotate along y-axis by 180 therefore i go back here edit i add a new move i want to use a rotate of 180 along y-axis here along this axis you can see okay you can see this is the shape we are talking about you can see this shape here and this shape is the same they are the same shape but uh rotated as we have done okay 
Next, I need to use to connect this using a surface boundary blend. Before that, I need to put a curve here. Therefore, if you activate planes on this plane, let's sketch and go normal like that. I need a curve here. If you see this curve uh, being like that, just make sure, ensure this point is. Uh, you can see this point here. Don't go above this point, just go to the, uh, at the uh, around this section here to avoid forming this type of a curve. Okay, okay, let me deselect uh, again. Curve, curve, okay, let me deselect again. Curve, don't go out. Um, let me see. You need a three point curve. Uh, yeah, like that. Then like that. I want this to be dimension is to be twenty five. Yeah. Then some center line here. Another center line is i want to select this curve mirror it to this line again select these two curves here mirror them to this line okay and you can hide your planes you can see now you can easily connect these two using boundary, boundary blend select these two using control then second election select this like that uh, again let me connect these two to this again boundary blend this to this you can see then this and this like that yeah you can complete all the sections using a boundary blend otherwise you can just activate your planes you select mirror I want to mirror this one here. Mirror plane is this plane. Uh, this part, this surface here, like that. Again, um, mirror this is the mirror plane. Then I want to mirror this uh, surface. You can see. Then you can hide your planes. Also, you can hide your sketch. Same case applies to this. Okay, can undo that. If I go back to the part, you can see this part has um has three cut out. Um, let me go back here. Basically, I want to see the, I want to see the sketch of this cut out. Mm, eight fifty five eight point eight. Okay. Let's go back to this one here. Let's uh, model uh, those cutouts. Activate pl uh, your plane sketch here. You can go normal to you. Then you can use palette. The palette has polygons. Use six sided hexagon and drag it like that. Close. Say OK. Then we have to use a center line to this point because we have seen from this here to this line we have an angle of 55 okay then we saw that uh, these two are perpendicular this one here and this are perpendicular uh, is it? let me um, let's see let's see let's check those dimensions again mm, let's just stay okay for now let's go back I want to check these dimensions again here 55 and 8 oh this one there 55 and 8 okay okay this one here you need to delete it uh, 
also let's first of all delete this let's make this and this perpendicular then let's delete this let's see what happens when you move something has fixed this okay let me just delete this and something is okay oh, something is not okay here basically let's delete everything sometimes um you get your sketch being constrained without your knowledge that's fine now my sketch can move around here yeah? not can move around then you need a line from this point to this point dimension from here to here to be 55 yeah and i need this one and this one here to be perpendicular this and this what's happening okay let's leave it for now dimension from this point to this one here is eight eight like that and from what's the other one let me see okay uh, sorry for that and i want to see these dimensions here we have 55 8 and 8.8 .8, okay yeah let's come here dimension from here to here to be uh 8.8 .8. Okay, here we made a mistake. This one is not H dimension from this line to this point here to be. Hmm. Basically, let's use another. Let's have a, a line there. What's not happening? This should be able to rotate. It should it should rotate. This line should rotate. I don't even know what is happening. Like this. Let's see. Ah this is the issue. You see this horizontal. Delete this. I don't know how it came. Because now it should yeah, you see it should rotate. Therefore, this one here. And this to be perpendicular then from here to this to be 8 yeah then from here to here to be 8.8 .8, like that yes like that then say okay be watch those uh, automatic relations okay then I need to let me uh, go to the shaded i need to uh, pattern this sketch select a sketch and pattern the sketch uh, i want to bury this i go this one here i want to have three of them not five three like that if you see them go the other the opposite direction just go here and use a negative Increment by negative fifty-five. Yeah, to be on the on the right direction. Then we need to project this to the surface. We select project, chains, this chain, this chain, and this chain to what? To this surface, and to be perpendicular to the top plane, like that. Project again. Um, let me see chains this chain this and this to this surface perpendicular to this in the direction and say okay um, next is let me hide the planes let me hide these guys here like that 
yeah we need now to trim trim the surface using this uh, curve select trim the surface using using this okay again trim using uh trimming using this again trim you have to repeat six times you can repeat six times or um or you can also you can cut you can cut bottom section and mirror the top section if you don't want to repeat for me I like making uh simplifying everything just trim to the direction here again trim using this trimming object change the election and lastly trim trimming uh, in here change the election you can see you can head your planes and you can now select everything and merge like that and you can you can thicken yeah you can use one mm you can your your surfaces let me use edges you can see it looks like after thickening you can now activate your lens and on the screen sketch go number to you you can clop so that you remove unnecessarily uh, uh, sections then here is where I said you need to add this like that then you need to determine this one to this to be 90 and you need a center line because you are going to revolve this here then select revolve you have to use 180 like that you can see okay last three this plane here you go no more you clip select line from here to here like that make sure you select center line then make sure this one is a 90 you can see okay then you revolve again also 180 boom okay you can hit your planes you can see that's how you can model this part in Creo Parametric. Give it a trial and see what happens. Thank you and stay tuned for more.